Many customers have been impressed with the UBA application and it's actually record breaking uh, in terms of the number of downloads. And version 1.2 brings uh, additional benefits. Let's start uh, seeing some of them. One of them is this uh, new rule, restricted program usage, usage, which the idea is to get uh, offenses to fire on users that launch programs uh, that are contained in this reference set. Let's go and take a look at it. So I'm here in the reference set and uh, I actually went ahead and added a few programs in here. Uh, you know, this one for example, S SS Max for PNP. And these are Windows process names of program that when an, a particular user launches them, those are restricted program, I want to actually monitor those closely. That increases the risk of a particular user because it's accessing uh, a sensitive uh, app. So I'm going to play that um, those logs that actually show that that particular user uh, access uh, that application. And here we can see them If we take a look at this, uh, you can see that uh, in this particular case, Nancy has been launching a couple of uh, programs and this one is one of those that we just put on the reference set. By the way, the reference set comes uh, with no, uh, no entries and the rule is uh, disabled by default. So I enable the rule, I put uh, this name in it and uh, we should see an offense being fired in uh, and, 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 and a UBN actual new event firing because of the actual offense. Again, while the offense fire, going back here to the to the actual rule, you know, that's that's the reference set that we put uh, the actual condition and on the next page of the uh, rule editor, we'll see that we actually are going to be dispatching a new event, a UBA event. And sure enough, we see that <laughs> that particular event was actually launched. That indicates that UBA is monitoring that a restricted program has been used by Nancy. And if we see in the user analytics uh, view, we see that Nancy's uh, uh, risk activity is actually increasing, as we can see here. Maybe I should add there to the watch list. A similar feature is a set of rules that go along with this uh, uh, reference set that actually comes pre-populated uh, on, on the actual tool. So take, if we take a look at this one. The idea of this one is I want to monitor people that using, that doing scanning with a map, uh, using Wireshark, NetMom. You know, people that are using these type of tools, uh, I want to know about it. And that increases the risk uh, because probably they should not be doing that. Along that line, uh, if, for example, the user is, a, is, a, is one of the guys that does this from the security standpoint and you don't want it uh, to be generating offenses and generating noise, there's this new button in here which is add to the whitelist which really, you know, uh, prevents this uh, user from firing uh, those events. One request from customer was, well, by default, the, 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 the way that this uh, UBA tool works, you need to be an admin to get access to it. So what we actually did is uh, change that in order to, you can assign a, a user that will only have the bare minimum. Uh, let's actually do that. Let's create a new, a new user, let's, say, let's call it UBA, UBA guy. And all you need to give him is, for scores, uh, user analytics. You may want to allow him to look at the offenses and log activity. You give the user this particular uh, access rights. Um, and you deploy your changes and you're good to go. Anyone who gets this access right UBA guy uh, can actually see the UBA console without having to necessarily have admin rights. And installing this app is uh, actually very simple. You go here to Extension Management and go to the Security App Exchange. 
and you select the UVA app. One thing that uh, it's in, uh, I want to encourage you to actually do is uh, take a look at the documentation. It is very uh, succinct and, and very clear. And that then takes you to the Knowledge Center. And I want you to actually just go here on the uh, User Behavior Analytics rule. We'd really explain you all the rules that are created with you, with all the reference set. But it's important for you to see notes like this one, for example. This dormant account use, notice that it's disabled by default. It's f now, and why is that? Well, because the tool needs to create a baseline of what is it that is not being used, so I can see what something is, is, uh, is, is actually dormant. So, uh, and as the notes tell you here, wait two to four weeks before enable this, uh, this type of rule, so the system can create its baseline and actually start detecting things that are abnormal.